What's up guys, Smith62 here, back with another video up on Black Ops, once again up on WMD. Of course, always, always like this map, um, probably not one of the, actually, I like the map, right, but Black Ops didn't really have the amazing maps like Modern Warfare 2 did, and like right now, like what I know of Modern Warfare 3, they don't have the greatest maps, how like, how Modern Warfare 2, you know, had it, of course, and Call of Duty 4. But you know you just gotta get used to it. Like I got used to Black Ops maps. Like it, like I would always compare maps to Call of Duty 4 maps because every map on Call of Duty 4 I loved, except for Block, hated Block, and of course the first game I ever played of Call of Duty 4 was on Block. And I remember I did terrible. I won like five and twenty. This is my first time like ever playing a shooting, not my first time ever playing a shooting game, but my first time playing Call of Duty 4. Right, so you're kind of rusty. You don't really know everything. And I remember all these people were sniping inside the damn buildings in Block, and I was like, fuck, I hate this damn map, and I, after that, I just always hated it. Um, but I want to tell you, talk, talk about what happened to me, um, I guess for the last couple of weeks, because I haven't uploaded a video. So, for the people that watch my other videos, like I was saying, um, someone took an iPad at our workplace, you know, and what happened was... Okay, so I'm just trying to explain this, if I remember properly. So iPad was actually taken back in February, taken back in February, and I think in April, in April, right, um, there was an, uh, an iPad that was, st that was stolen, and it was found in our locker room uh, in the ceilings, because someone took it, they found out who took it and fired him, and then the, the girl that took the iPad back in February was never turned it on, she was so scared to, like, turn it on and shit, so well, this is what she did. So she sold it to one of our employees at our workplace. So she sold it probably for like 200 bucks. The employee bought it. And then when he got home, he did turned on and started using it. Didn't reformat it. Didn't do anything. Just didn't wipe it clean. So he's, he's using it, right? And now all of a sudden, he's on vacation. And the, 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 they wait for him to come back from vacation. And right when he comes to our workplace, he gets arrested for having a, a property of stolen possession, right? He, was, he has stolen property. So he was arrested. They, he, he gave his statement and everything like, I bought the iPad. I didn't, I didn't steal it. I bought it off an employee. So he, so then like a, a week later, he, they, they came into work. Um, the guy came in with a lawyer while the girl came in and admitted everything that she took the iPad and everything like that. So she was fired on the spot, and the guy is trying to get his job back, but it's gonna be kinda be hard, right, to get your job back, because, I don't know, they, they just look to fire anyone at, our, at, Air Can at Air Canada these days for any little thing, so I, won't be, I wouldn't be surprised if he's fired too, even though he didn't take the iPad, he just bought it. But they're probably spin it off like you had the stolen property, so it was in your possession. So you know you should be fired. So, so that's gonna suck for him. Um, so the girl got fired. So now he is um. So he now he's on death row right now, trying to get his job back because you know, flip. You've been. He, I think he's been there for like ten years or whatever, and now he's gonna lose a job over a girl that f fucked him over. <laughs> so that's gonna be kind of hard to get another job and he has to go back to court and try and get the charges off because he has charges on him right now because of the stolen property so he has to go to court and try and get that removed and I had to actually go to this court thing at Air Canada because from the situation that happened back in January where I think I explained it already but I'll try and just give you guys a quick review so the guy came in made all the noise pissed all this guy off that was watching TV they exchanged words bam 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 um, the guy, one of the guys pushed, pushed the guy, and then the guy sat back in the chair, and then this guy ran and pushed him off the chair, and then a head, like, they, then the, they ran into each other's, and their, their heads, head butted each other. So I went in, went into court, I, I spoke my thing, I told the judge, and the judge didn't believe me. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I don't, kind of, I don't believe this bullshit story. So I was like, uh, all right, because everyone there, that there was me and another witness and then the two people that were going at it right everyone had a different story no one had the same story everything was different so I'm like what the hell like I was the only one that included that the, one of the guys ran and pushed pushed um, the fellow worker off the chair not, not even the guy that got pushed included that so I was like wow 
<laughs> and I can see why this judge is probably thinks I'm bullshitting because the guy that got pushed didn't even write that he got pushed. And now, and he's really trying to get his job back. Look at these two people in the corner, like, suck each other's dicks and bam, like, killed them with the FAMAS. But, yeah, that's basic what's been happening with me at work. Um, so, I went in, I got paid because they gave me the off day um, for that day because I was like, I have to work at night. You don't, I want to get, like, two hours of sleep then I have to come to court. So, then I worked out a deal with them. They gave me a, the off day and I got paid for that as well. And I was only in, like, for the court thing for, like, five minutes. I gave my statement or whatever. And I was out of there. I was gone. So, nice, nice five minutes. And I'm getting paid, like, a hundred bucks. So, I guess that's kind of good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, hopefully everything works out with the, with the people at our workplace. Because, tough, tough thing nowadays. Because they're looking to fire all these people. And we got, like, 30 new hires now. Like new people that if you guys if you guys um, were looking for a job you should have tried and applied for Air Canada because they were hiring. But hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later.